What is going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be fishing a pond that is highly highly pressured here in the Phoenix metropolitan area just about everybody fishes this pond and it still produces it has some massive bass in it I haven't fished here in about two years so figured you know what let's give it a shot see what we can do hopefully we can whack a bass or two we have about an hour of light so not too sure how good it's going to be time will tell let's get out there let's go whack them all right guys I'm hooked up on the shaky head fat pack bait spin worm Pumpkin purple eater and ah, uh, thin little dude. So, you got the purple pumpkin eater, thin worm by Fat Pack Bait, and you got the 1 8 ounce little jig head, shaky head by Copper State. Man, that took forever. Not a bad little bass, so I mean, he came up out of nowhere and absolutely whacked it. Unfortunately, it was off camera, but hey, a fish is a fish. The thing, those hooks are super sharp by Copper State. Whatever hook that they use, to attach to their lead head, that thing penetrates with ease. I mean, it goes right through the bass's mouth because I didn't even have a chance to really set the hook on that fish. That fish just grabbed it and took off. So for, fortunate enough for me, that hook is extremely sharp. All right, okay. I'm seeing a bunch of bait, guys. This looks good. Oh, this looks juicy. Let's see throw that little glide right up here see if we could draw a behemoth of a large mouth out of one of these pipes I'm seeing bait everywhere my goodness I get it run by super close a lot of the bass they just barely hang out of the pipe sometimes and they'll come darting out and just grab any sort of bait fish whether it's bluegill tilapia etc they dart out and absolutely crush them so I like to let the bait run pretty close to the pipes. It looks like there's some water spitting out too. So adding a little bit of current, always a good sign. Always a good little deal breaker to try to catch some largies. It's currently six o'clock. Got about an hour of light left. Perfect time to throw this little glide around and try to get a big bite. And there's some big bass in this pond, guys. I mean, there's like six, seven, eight pounders in here. So. I'm holding on to the rod for dear life. I've not fished in a single one of these ponds in about like two years. So I know they're highly pressured. I mean, there are fish literally daily, but there's still typically a few fish willing to bite. Just gotta try to trick them. Oh man, oh man. There's been times where all I've done is this, right in front of a pipe and the bass come darting out and grab it. Trying to slow down the retrieval a little bit just in case there is a fish out there following it they might actually hit it it's just so hard for me to slow down my retrieval because i fish typically super quickly i fish fast that slow fishing technique i'm just not good at because i'm super impatient all right guys so we tied on a wacky rig drop shot set up we got the phantom purple fat bat on by fatback baits let's see if that scrumptious purple color can uh draw in a bass because typically purple morning dawn uh june bug any any color like that typically will catch a fish or two there's a bass right here i'm literally watching him and literally staring at him guys there's literally a bass right here watch let's see oh my gosh He's going for it. I think we're going to run across the street and fish around those pipes with this drop shot. I think we're going to be able to pick up a bass. I really do. I'm feeling confident. We might be able to pick one, one off on this side at least, but time will tell. Burr, burr, burr. There's one. It's a big one. It's a big one. That was a good freaking hit too. I mean, he knocked it. Staying down. Well, not a big one, but just a chunk. A chunky chunk on that drop shot. That phantom purple bob fat pack baits. Very, very, very aggressive fish right there. Little hook, little owner hook. Never go wrong with that. Beautiful little bass right there. Thank you for the bite. Let's 
come on in get big buddy tell your wife you're struggling you can't catch fish buy yourself a pack of fat packs and you'll catch fish real quick these things are juice a little sauce a little saucy sauce that he puts on there it's too scrumptious for these bass to not come up and hit not too bad let's see how many we could catch maybe we'll luck out maybe we'll get on a nice little evening bite and that was immediate the second it hit the bottom that fish just probably turned around darted right at it super aggressive hit too so i saw the one bass cruising shallow we hooked up with that one relatively shallow he was probably about 10 feet off the bank so the fish they must be just kind of cruising along right now you know maybe chasing some bait just kind of hanging out they're not doing a whole lot though because i'm not seeing any sort of boils everything's pretty mellow all right let's try back here let's give this a shot give it a quick little dangle see if we can pull some magic be cool to get at least two more we get two. Oh, there we are nice hit chunky bass chunky bass oh my goodness gosh oh look at that look at that fish dig oh my gosh get up buddy uh, another fish that doesn't have a lip what a bummer cool little fish right there though all in all i mean shoot at least he's still leading Sucks that half his face is ripped off though. Man, just as I said, oh, I want to do one more, I want to get one more, maybe two more, you know, we, we hook up immediately. I know there's a secondary drop off out there and we lucked out because I think that's what that fish was sitting on. One thing I like about fishing drop shot on a medium action bait caster, I mean, you can swing on those fish to make sure that you actually get them pinned. I'll tell you what though, the fish in these ponds, I mean, they freaking dig. They are some powerful, powerful fish for the size that they are. I mean, you'll catch these size of fish in canals and other ponds, and you know, you get them in relatively easy. Maybe one fights a little harder than the other, but every single one of these fish, they just pull. 